With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Students, in this given question, we need to work on the complex compound having the maximum magnetic moment is. So these are the set of complex entities given. So first of all, we must that magnetic moment is going to be maximum in this, that case when we are going to have unpaired electron as the maximum. So let's search for the unpaired electron. So over the first complex, we are going to have CO F6 and thrice negative is the complex given. So what we are going to do, we are going to put X, this flow is negative ligand, so minus 1 multiplied by 6, overall charge is given as minus 3 on the coordination sphere. So value turns out to be positive of 3 on solving. So what does it indicate? It shows this, our cobalt is present in third ionization state. So what is the configuration for the third ionization state? It's going to be argon. Now 4s is going to be 0 and we are left with only 3d6. Why? Because ground state configuration is 4s to 3d7 and after ionizing this electron we are left with this one only. So how do I represent 6? So this is going to be 1, then 2, then 3, then 4, then 5, then 6. So this is how I have represented 6. So number of unpaired electrons present over here is 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 unpaired electrons are present. So I have written unpaired electron over here. So let's go with the second complex. Over here we are given chromium. So you can directly calculate the oxidation state. This is our neutral ligand. So 0 and this is x. So overall state will come as the positive 3 only. So how do I write configuration? It's going to be argon. 4s will be 0 and you are left with only 3d3. So this is the configuration and if you are going to take 1, 2, 3, so this is going to be number of unpaired electron is going to be 3 in number. Similarly go with the third complex which is given as Fe, FeCN, Fe, F6, 3 minus. Similarly calculate the oxidation state, this is fluoro negative ligand, so minus 1 multiplied by 6 equivalent to minus 3. So value again turned out to be positive 3 only. So can you represent third ionization state of iron? Yeah, it's going to be argon. 4s will be 0 and we are left with 3d5 only. Now, how do you represent 5? So it's going to shown by this orbital representation 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now you, you see that here ligand type is going to be weak field. So it's not going to do any pairing. Just like the previous case, first we have seen, this is also fluoro weak field ligand. So it's also not going to cause pairing. So here unpaired electron turns out to be 5 in number. Let's go with the fourth complex which is given over here. Here M N C N whole 6 4 minus is the given entity. Calculate the oxidation state. Sino is negative ligand. So minus 1 multiplied by 6 equivalent to minus 4. Value turns out to be positive of 2. So can I write the configuration for manganese diapositive ion? Yeah, it's going to be very simple. Argon 4s will be 0 and we are left with only 3d5. So it's going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But the twist over here is that it's going to be strong field ligand. So what it's going to cause? it's going to cause pairing of electrons. So this is going to be paired and we are going to have this type of complex present over here. So it's going to undergo D2SP3 type of hybridization but we are interested in number of unpaired electrons. So it's going to be one unpaired electron present over here. Now you are knowing the unpaired electron. So there is a formula that magnetic moment can be calculated in terms of Bohr magneton value which is represented by mu into mu plus 2 value where mu represents the number of unpaired electrons. So for every case you can put the value. So where mu is going to be maximum, it's Bohr magneton value, it's also going to be maximum. So we have found that mu value, which is the number of unpaired electrons is going to be maximum 5. So I'm writing maximum magnetic moments comes for the case of given complex entity which is present in option C and it's going to have the value of under root 35 as the Bohr magneton value. So that's how we have come with the conclusion. Option C is the correct answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.